This is it. We made it. <laughs> oh, welcome into we our it. celebration, everybody. The Super Bowl champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. The parade of champions. They will start from South Philadelphia and end where we are at the staging area here. There's a big program plan to honor our Philadelphia Eagles. Hi, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington, along with Jessica Dean and sports director Don Bell. It's a party on the parkway, this my man. This is a party. It, it is a party. It is a party of epic proportions. Um, listen. Jessica and I had to <laughs> somehow find our way through the crowd to get here and it you can see people as far as the eye can see and I have never seen people so happy yeah, in this city no and, and that's not hyperbole seriously I have never witnessed what we're witnessing here today the buses I are about to leave the Novacare Center and this parade will be one for the ages. I've been here for a couple of parades. In 74, 75, I was in school for the Flyers. 83 for the Sixers, I just started in the industry. And of course, 2008, that was unbelievable, but it this looks may like the buses are parade. moving. The just FYI, moving. they are on the move. We're about three minutes from the official start of the parade at 11 a.m. As these guys mentioned, it is wall-to-wall -wall people out here as far as your eye can see. This is something special, and we were talking about this even if next year they happen to be back in this situation. Oh, we'll be back. This, <laughs> this moment right now, the very first one, is yeah. so sweet. And there is there is a feeling among these fans of camaraderie, of we're all in this together. It is, Don, these people are happy in a way that I haven't seen in a collective way maybe ever. Absolutely jubilant. There are parties all throughout the city, all morning long. I had friends texting me saying that they couldn't sleep at 5 in the morning because they heard Eagles chants in their neighborhood. Right, right. There were people out here at the Art Museum steps as early as 8 p.m. last night. So this is a party, again, 60 years in the making, yeah. yes, and no one's going to be late. Everybody's coming. And I'd like to say this. In 2008, we covered the parade with the Phillies. That was 10 years ago. They estimated that there were 2 million people there. Well, today, you could see four. And many oh. of them are still on the road trying to get here. Yeah, that's yes. a good point. There's no question about yeah. it. Driving up here, I was on 95, and there was like a sea of green <laughs> on the highway. People right. giving thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I'm like giving this sign. Keep your eye on the road. Yeah, right, right. 10-2, 10-2. We, all, we all want to get there. Yeah. <laughs> we all want to get there. But this is just fantastic. I can't wait for the team to get here and this crowd here on the parkway to just erupt. Many of the people that are on the parade route now will see their heroes go by them. Many of them will run home and watch us on television. Others will try to run here yeah. and see the program. It's Take a look at this chopper shot high above the parade, and you see them on the move. This is going to be the first of many overhead shots we're going to show you today, but it's really a good way to get a feel for what it really looks like, how many people are there. So, of course, this is down in South Philly by the sports complexes. This is where it's all starting. It's going to come up Broad Street and make its way here to the art museum where there will be uh, a program, I yes. guess we could say, behind us. And this was a great idea to kind of reverse it, to have it end here yeah. instead of at the stadium yeah. where they have maybe you know, 60, 70,000 people here. It's limitless. It's yeah. Everyone's it's, here, and they can see the end of it. And the jumbotrons are crystal clear. Yeah, they so are. So if you're not by the stage, you feel like you're on the stage with these jumbotrons. It's just unbelievable. This is the people's parade. Yes. It really is in so many ways. I mean, if you go down to the stadium, it's a confined space. A lot of season ticket holders get, you know, um, a say in how, you know, in the seats that they have. Here, it's just pure desire. Yeah. Yes. You know, there are people out here willing to risk losing a left pinky toe to frostbite to be out here to watch the Eagles come down here to the parkway and